Yeah, now that we're a registered charity, you know, it enables us to um, attract more funding to do more more things. So, uh, one of the successes um, is our disability team. So we, we started off with one team uh, in the league one season, grew to two, and next season, because we've got about 35 in the squad, we're going to have three Staleybridge Celtic teams in the uh, Cheshire East Ability Council League, which is fantastic. Um, hopefully, we can get. A, increase that and get a fourth team going forward so uh, there's one game one month of fixtures to go and the blues are second and the whites are third so successful season and hopefully we'll have a, a better one next year fantastic stuff now the first team have just finished their season yeah. they'll have a nice three month break but for you the work never stops can you tell us what's going on over the next few months yeah we'll carry on with our uh, active goal schools program which sees us delivering um, after school sessions into various uh, local primary schools we've got our walking footballers our over 50s team, our over 60s team. Um, they came runners up in a tournament at uh, Fleetwood Town last week and narrowly got beat by Oldham Athletic on the pitch at Boundary Park on Thursday, 1 0. So uh, they've got plenty of festivals and tournaments to look forward to. We're planning for uh, the next season, so hopefully, you know, we'll get our £5 fresh air ticket initiative back with the free McDonald's um, and we'll roll that out to uh, different schools ac across the borough so instead of it being State Stady Bridge, Ashton Mosley will roll it out to, to Denton, Ordenshaw. Brilliant stuff, so last time I spoke to you you said you were going to be working with the NHS to promote healthy living, can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah we're working with uh, the NHS to deliver something uh, like an introductory to, to walking football, um, similar to the Get Fit Challenge where men sign up to do uh, an eight week project with the NHS and uh, you know at the end of it they, they'll have some weight loss and they'll have some healthier lifestyle changes um, but we've also been working with Oldham Athletic um, Community Trust they've just started a project called Man vs Fat uh, which is a 14 week project which um, the gents play every, every week for 14 weeks in a, in a league so we've been in touch with Man vs Fat and they're keen for us to come on board and hopefully we'll be there provider across Tameside so if we can get that set up it would be fantastic, it would be a, um, a great project for us.